Good afternoon. The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader today is Squadron Leader Reverend Dr Andrew Hill, Executive Director, Soldiers and Airmen's Scripture Readers Association. Thank you. Presiding Officer, members of the Scottish Parliament, ladies and gentlemen, if we asked the public what members of Parliament do, I anticipate we'd get a range of answers some perhaps kinder than others. The Senior Salaries Review Body reported that MPs provide appropriate assistance to individual constituents to progress and, where possible, help resolve their problems. In this, and in many other responsibilities, you have been elected to serve the best interests of your constituents. And I'm aware that this service of others is seldom easy. Some have unrealistically high expectations of what you can achieve. Others demand results for themselves, but are careless about the needs of others. You experience painful public criticism, even rejection, and in extreme cases, threats and even acts of violence. The charity I serve, the Soldier and Airmen Scripture Readers Association, has delivered a Christian mission to our military for 177 years. During this long period, military personnel have served our nation with selfless devotion and sacrifice. But they, too, know how fickle the public can be. Rudyard Kipling wrote, In times of war and not before, God and the soldier we adore. But in times of peace and all things righted, God is forgotten and the soldier slighted. Spurned service and unappreciated labours are sadly nothing new. We find our hope and inspiration in Jesus Christ, who said of himself, The Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Jesus' life was filled with generous and loving service for others, but his experience was abuse torture and death. Yet as we celebrate each Easter, the Father declared Jesus' service to be perfect and complete by raising him from the dead. Through the life, death and resurrection of Jesus, we can know forgiveness from God and have our broken relationship with the Father restored. Jesus' immensely costly service the giving of his own life in the place of others brings believers amazing riches. And Jesus calls his servants to find their true purpose in life, not in pleasing ourselves, but in serving him and seeking the spiritual good of others. Jesus' exhortation to us all to serve well is this. Whoever would save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake and the gospel's will save us. For what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and forfeit his soul? Thank you. Our next item of business this afternoon is topical questions. Question number one, Kevin Stewart. Thank you, President Officer, and I'm sure the whole Parliament will join me in extending the